President Trump just announced he was leaving New York and becoming a resident of Florida, he doesn't feel loved in his hometown, so after 73 years of residing in New York, he's packing up and setting up residence at his club, Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, Governor Cuomo was not the least bit sad about Donald's decision. Because living in New York does not make you a New Yorker. Uh, to be a New Yorker is a state of mind. It's a set of beliefs. It's a set of principles that you live by. And New Yorkers do not discriminate. Uh, and they're not anti-LGBTQ. And they're not divisive. Uh, and they don't spread hate. They believe in community. So he may have been a New Yorker in name, but he never represented the New York spirit. So I say good riddance. Good riddance, Mr. Trump. That opinion was shared by many in New York City. The vacancy rates in many of his properties has gone up, and his name has been removed from many of his buildings since he became president, but not on the outer borough of Staten Island where many were sure his library would be built. Trump's leaving New York really sucks. I was looking forward to taking the kids to his library when it was built. Me too. Now what are we going to do with all that beautiful landfill, that was the perfect spot for his library, now it's all going to go to waste. I would have gone to the library just to read his tweet collection. I love his tweets. Those people are crazy, the Trump library certainly shouldn't be in New York so, he has a better shot someplace on a golf course way out in Florida never in New York, can you imagine them building a library with no content, except maybe his tweets. I pay millions of dollars in city, state, and local taxes each year. I have been treated very badly by the political leaders of both the city and the state. Sure he's running away from New York to avoid the taxes that he doesn't pay. That makes me laugh, after he screwed New Yorkers by capping our SALT deductions, and he thinks he was treated badly, what nerve. I pay as little as possible. I fight like hell to pay as little as possible for two reasons. Number one, I'm a businessman and that's the way you're supposed to do it and you put the money back into your company and employees and, and all of that. But the other reason is that I hate the way our government spends our taxes. I hate the way they waste our money, trillions and trillions of dollars of waste and abuse and I hate it. And he hates the way the government wastes the taxpayers' money. He was going to eliminate the waste. Have you heard that? Tell me one way he reduced spending. The deficit is up 50% and tax revenue is down because of the tax cuts he engineered for big business and the wealthy. And now listen to what may be the real reason he's running to Florida. There is a legal proceeding against the president from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office where they're trying to get him to turn over the taxes. My guess is he was advised by his lawyers that it would help his case not to release his taxes to the Manhattan District Attorney if he could say he was no longer a resident of the state of New York. I could see it as a legal tactic, and the timing is coincidental, because it's right in the middle of the district attorney's case looking for his taxes. It probably won't work. You live in New York. Your business is in New York. You file tax returns. They will get the returns released. I believe that. That's the downside for Donald. There is an upside. He may be able to reduce his New York tax burden because Florida has no state tax or inheritance tax, rest assured they will be watching his home to make sure he really is living in the sunshine state. I don't get this whole thing. He is the president. He lives in the White House. Why is that not his official residence? He shouldn't be living anywhere else. Am I right? She has a point. Yes, she does. Maybe someone out there can answer the question.